Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the first ever investigation into South Africa's ancient hidden history. Today, we will be looking at a small section of a hill where a monument was built in 1975. Let's explore the surroundings of this monument, which has some very special features. At the end, we will look at how this monument was built and then also other possible areas uh, for investigation. So, official record says this mountain, the rocks, the boulders are granite and is formed at about a thousand degrees Celsius. Obviously, this would happen with volcanic activity and then also the usual narrative of millions of years ago. Our premise being that we do not believe the millions of years and would therefore be looking for other theories and evidences of more recent huge natural catastrophes and even possible evidence of ancient lost to history civilizations. I know one thing and that is that there already is some great evidence of ancient civilizations and I will hopefully show this in a follow-up video. I've got some boots on the ground footage. First up is the site entrance. Have a look at this walkway. They say this monument was made by smashing up some of the natural granite rocks and mixing it with cement so that it will look similar to the surrounding area. See how well uh, the pathway blends into the rock. They Next, the first stones and boulders you see. Just look at how the stone is sp split, so perfect, almost all of the stones are rounded, even by the cracks. Wow, do you see this rock and how could this have occurred naturally? Well, the narrative says that over millions of years due to soil erosion, these boulders have become exposed. And I guess that is not what we're looking for. Amazing how it appears that the tree is growing out of the rock, which then begs the question, could the plants and trees have cracked these rocks in the past? Look at the texture on some of these rocks up close. See those shapes? How was this formed? with those indentations. Very interesting. This looks like something is embedded in the stone, or possibly was and was taken out. Okay, let's compare this Google Earth map with a scale model without trees. We will explore these boulder areas next. There is the scale model. Without trees, you can see the boulders clearly, which is in these relative areas. See the flaking on this rock, almost like an onion peeling. Does anyone know why and which rocks does this? Look at how massive the boulder is behind the trees. And see those huge cracks going up straight. A close up of the same boulder. Cave anyone? Difficult to get images of all the trees around and right up against the boulder. These ones are different. They have what I like to say sharper edges. Look at those triangular shapes. What about this split? Very different to the others. Could that bush have done it? Another straight edge behind it. Now those indentations, how did the, how could that occur? That's a cool tunnel. 
This looks almost as if that one was stacked up against the bigger one. Do you see it? Let's walk through this. Massive. Almost seems like that one fell over onto the other one and cracked. Okay. Unfortunately, we didn't go in there further. Maybe next time. It's the same everywhere. Okay, there's another perfect split. There's too many for of these to be coincidence. Some more splits and a wheel like one which has some interesting lines. You see this one? There's the crack, but see these lines at the bottom. And this square shape, this gets me. Not as rounded as all the others. Some more behind the trees. And the, tun the tunnel from the other side. These are more interesting ones and other nuggets. See that loose one on top? Hidden behind the tree. Here's a close up of those flaking bits. They're just everywhere on all of these rocks. And see the loose one on top. And the flaky bits. You can actually see how it's fallen off. Pieces of it. You know, this one is my favorite one. It's just amazing. Have a look. Pay attention to these ones at the bottom. I'll show you now. Okay, op die phone. There's another interesting indentation, something that came out there. And here's some more of the flaky bits. This was so loose I could just pull it off. Here you can see, completely loose. And check this smooth one. And see how well uh, they blend this in. To the so-called natural with the man-made so natural rock man-made very identical look at the floor look at the rock so here's some of the construction photos that's found at the place and you can find this online as well we'll explain how it was built there's even a video of this some of the tools and machinery they used Lots of steam power here. And here's some more interesting rocks from other locations of the same hill. 
this one that looks like a face or a tortoise look at this hole at the bottom this is the top one from the other side and this is from a far away so they say these are all exposed due to erosion hmm I wonder and look at this and finally we're in with this huge section and would you believe this face the eye of Ra next episode we will look at the apocalyptic events that could have formed South Africa as you can see there are some amazing things to explore Great canyons, similar to those in America. So we know, for one thing, a massive flood. The end, guys. Still next time.